Hey everybody, Christy Titus here, and I wanna thank you for joining me for my latest episode of Pursue the Wild, Tips from the Wild. Gun ownership is on the rise as Americans are purchasing record-breaking numbers of firearms. Many people are simply taking advantage of social distancing to spend more time with their families while participating in shooting sports, plinking in the backyard, or going hunting, while others are acquiring a firearm for personal protection and many gun purchases are from new gun owners exercising their Second Amendment rights for the very first time. Regardless of how long or why you own a firearm, we all have the shared responsibility to safely store them so that they're inaccessible to children and to prevent them from being stolen by criminals. Being a woman, I understand wanting to have a firearm nearby for personal protection. However, as the gun owner, I also know that I'm responsible to exercise full control and supervision of that firearm at all times. So when I'm not carrying my firearm, it is unloaded and safely stored. Today, I wanna to share a few tips that will help you to safely store your firearm when you're not using it. Safe gun storage starts with unloading it when you're not using it. Remember, always keep your gun pointed in a safe direction treating it as if it's loaded. Chamber flags provide a quick visual confirmation that the firearm is unloaded and the action is open. These actually slide into the barrel and rest into the action of your firearm. So you can be confident that there is no cartridge in the barrel of the firearm when a chamber flag is present. And when you come home from shooting at the gun range or from a hunting trip, you're going to want to immediately store your unloaded firearm in a locked storage case. For added security, you can disassemble your firearm, such as removing the bolt from a rifle and storing it separately. And last, always store your ammunition in a locked container or case that's in a completely separate location from your unloaded firearms. Today, most firearms are sold with a free cable lock. These are really easy to use as the cable runs through either the barrel or the action of the firearm, preventing it from being fired and they either require a key or a combination to unlock them. Although these are great, they're only a deterrent. And for added security, you should consider doubling up your safety measures by placing your firearms with a cable lock into a gun safe. Gun cases are great for people that are traveling. Many gun cases feature TSA approved locks, so you can easily fly with your firearm. These gun cases will range in size from containing a single firearm to multiple firearms and are available for both rifles and pistols. Lock boxes are a great way to not only travel outside of your home with your firearm, but to also store your firearm within your home. Now these lock boxes have lots of security options from being keyed, keypads, touch, or even touch-free entry. So you'll wanna do a little bit of research on which lockbox is right for you. The Rapid Safe Ready Vault allows you to quickly access your firearms. It's heavy duty steel construction, is tamper resistant, and for added security, there are pre-drilled mounting holes so you can secure the safe to a wall within your home. One of the safest storage methods is in a full-size gun safe. A gun safe will protect its contents from not only theft, but many are rated to protect your valuables from fire. A gun safe protects its contents from the elements and allows owners to safely store multiple firearms in one location. These are just a few ideas for safe firearm storage. Ultimately, how you choose to store your firearm is your choice. For the greatest level of security, Consider using a combination of safety procedures and be sure to educate your family members about the safe handling of firearms and storage. To learn more about firearm safety, please visit projectchildsafe.org.